what's up everybody and welcome to the 30th PHP tutorial and in the last tutorial as you can see we had a function to test whether the user's name only contained letters or numbers so if we had name Bucky with a, a dollar sign or something when it registered we gave him the error message username must only contain letters or numbers so we checked for that but in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to check if the username has already been taken so once you're trying to register for something on any website and you click register and it says we're sorry but the username is already in use that's what we're going to be testing for today so by the end of the tutorial we're going to be checking if the username only contains the letters and number and also if the name was already used again and don't forget to watch these quali these videos in high quality and again for the last time if you have any questions on your code or anything, you have to post it in the forum on my website, thenewboston.com. I never check my YouTube messages, so post it on thenewboston.com and I can help you there. Now, here is our old tutorial that you guys already learned from last time. This is the function that tests whether the username is alphanumeric, which means contains only letters and number. If this is true, and it passes this test we want to make a different test to test for duplicate names like I just showed you so let's just add a comment so we know what we're doing test for duplicate names I know I spelled it wrong don't comment me the first thing we need to do is look in the database to see if the name has already been used or not so the first thing we need to do for this is make a query or an action to check the database so in our query we're gonna put select uh, put asterisk and what the asterisk means is select all since we want to select all of the names in the database to check um, select all from users and remember I told you guys to make a table called users where username and remember I told you guys to make a field in that table called username select all from the table users where username equals oops um where the username is equal to and we're gonna look for this right here since this is um the variable that the user posted this is the input whenever they entered in that form right here is going to be their name so i entered white blue 1942 is gonna say alright select all of the data from the table where the username is equal to whatever name they posted so it's gonna look for white blue 1942 in my case and the next thing we have to make is just pretty much um, an action that says my SQL underscore query in in our and this pretty much means perform the action what action do we want to perform we want to perform query um, since whatever you name this variable right here that's what goes in this variable so if you name this variable um, applesauce you put applesauce right here so this is pretty much saying alright what action do you want to perform go ahead and perform that action and what this is going to do is this result is um well I just told you guys I don't need to tell you guys again the next thing that we were gonna wanna do is make a variable called num and this is gonna be actually a number and this is a built-in function called my sql underscore num underscore rows and in your parameter uh, type in the action where you want to test and what this is going to do is get all of the rows that your action um, found so if there is one username called white blue 1942 the variable number is going to be set to one if there's none then it's going to be set to zero if there is two then it's going to be set to two so we need this information so we can test whether or not we should allow the user to keep going and register or not so let's go ahead and say if um, the variable num is equal to zero 
then we want you to um, build the rest of the code but if else and why do we need an else statement because this is the code that's going to execute if there is already a name in use so um, when it whenever there is a name in use what code do we want to execute um we can echo on the screen but I'm gonna have you take it to another website um, I'm gonna have to say name in use HTML and let's go ahead and put that in double quotation marks so here is what we have built so far the first thing it's gonna do is test if your um, uh, the name that they entered only contains letters or numbers if it doesn't and it contains uh, letters or numbers it's going to take you to a thing that says invalid name the next thing we want to do if it passes the test then we go on to the next step test for duplicate names and it's going to select all it's going to run through the database and look for all of the instances of the name you posted and if there are no instances then we're going to execute this code right here which we didn't type in yet this is going to be for the next tutorial um, it's going to be a next step but if there is a name already in the database then we're going to want to select name in use so again right now we have two tests the first thing we're going to want to do is test if the thing is alphanumeric and the next thing we're going to want to do is test for duplicate names and again to remind you guys one more time all of this information right here is on my website thenewboston.com so if you don't feel like typing all this just go to my website thenewboston.com copy paste it in uh, your website bam there you go so again thank you for watching make sure to watch these videos in high quality and make sure to subscribe to my channel so last for the 18th time thank you for watching and I'll see you next time